Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we will discuss uh, breathing circuits and scavenging system. The first uh, one of the breathing circuits of the systems is the open system. It's simply we uh, just apply uh, the anesthetic gases on top of the patient as we'll be seeing later on uh, the tools used. Uh, there is no tubing, no valves, no reservoir bags. Of course, there is no uh, resistance. The most uh, common uh, mask you, which was being used uh, uh, in the early uh, year, years of anesthesia was the Schimmel Bush mask. It was a simple mask made of metal, and we uh, attached to it a, a mesh. And we, we, we used to, uh, or not me, uh, we used to, it, 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 it used to uh, utilize the dripping of ether from the bottle uh, uh, slowly so that the patient can be anesthetized. Uh, the figures will show uh, later on the Edinburgh uh, mask, which has a wide uh, opening. Of course, all this um, uh, open mist has a minimal uh, uh, dead space. And we'll see later on the cannula, which is administrated uh, to the nostril. Uh, by the side by the side tube of course all this are there is no uh, any added uh, resistance of course it's difficult to control the concentration of the anesthetic uh, administrate in such circumstances uh, sometimes you can supplement oxygen uh, uh, through the system uh, of course the problem of the peak inspiratory flow which is the requirement of sometimes sometimes the patient uh, needs such an amount which is 50 liter per minute which is uh, very important whenever we construct a system, you must uh, find a way to uh, to achieve such requirement whenever, whenever the patient uh, requires. You see, uh, so it 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 it, it makes a, a problem through the system to uh, to get a proper uh, uh, peak inspiratory flow, uh, uh, unless the patient takes it from the surrounding. You see. Uh, of course, if I want to assure the, a proper uh, system, I, 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 I tighten the mask or I use an endo a tracheal tube uh, in such circumstances. Of course, we are, will discuss the second uh, uh, method of uh, system in anesthesia, which is the non rebreezing valve. It's, it's made of uh, a molded uh, rubber uh, valves, inspiratory, expiratory. This, uh, the commonest is the, the AMBO AE, the AMBO E. Uh, uh, non rebreathing valve, which can be used uh, in uh, emergency and it can uh, uh, use as a control ventilation also. Uh, it is a, a truly a non rebreathing uh, valve. We can utilize also addition of a, 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 a bag. You see, this is the figure showing the three types of the open mask. We have the the open cup as if the patient is uh, the, 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 the obstetrician uh, I'm sorry, the pediatrician uses his hand to create some sort of a, a mask, as you can see from the A. And B, there is the Edinburgh mask where we can admit, uh, administrate oxygen through a tube. And then the other, the third one is the, the, the tube uh, attached to the nostril. This is the second type of the AMBO E2 uh, to, uh, e to, uh, uh, apparatus in which the expiratory uh, valve is omitted, where it is, it, it is used only for resuscitation uh, and emergency. So it cannot be used uh, uh, for as a, as a proper non rebreathing valve uh, for controlled vent ventilation. All this, the problems of this uh, valve, they can stick and create a, a very high pressure. Of course, uh, sometimes the patient needs to overcome this uh, uh, expiratory resistance, which reaches around, uh, as you can see, from 100 to 200 kilopascal. Whenever I want to uh, shift it to uh, centimeters, as we see, I divide on uh, 100. You see, I mean, kilopascal to centimeter watt. Of course, it, this this resistance, which can uh, be created during peak peak uh, flow. The patient is uh, in, it needs too much uh, flow. So uh, this creates a resistance which uh, affects the patient, uh, especially uh, of course if he's conscious. Uh, nowadays, of course, the firemen and the drivers uh, or the uh, patients using uh, intranasal valves use special special types of valves which 
can yield a low resistance expiratory effect. There is another uh, valve which is made of silicon rubber uh, uh, flaps uh, incorporated in the tri-surface vaporizer, which is, as we said before, it's uh, one of the modified uh, Oxford miniature vaporizer. Uh, as you can see from the figure uh, later on, we'll see that this is the, 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 the assembly of this uh, tri-surface vaporizer. This is the vaporizer, and we have the special uh, non-reprising valve in it. The most important advantage of such uh, apparatus is that it is extremely, extremely light and portable. The third system we will discuss now is the TEP system. This TEP was uh, created by Philip uh, Irie in uh, 1937. Uh, it doesn't have va valves. Uh, of course, uh, in terms of the meter of the tubing system, as we all know, most of the anesthetic uh, uh, system are made of uh, around 22 uh, millimeter diameter. Uh, the point is that whenever I use this system, I must use uh, a, a fresh gas flow uh, of around uh, twice or uh, two and a half times the normal uh, tidal ventilation. Uh, and the capacity of this is expiratory limb, as will be uh, shown later on, uh, it, it must uh, be uh, uh, around the same size of the tidal volume of the uh, patient. Uh, this uh, this figure shows the TPs as we see the expiratory uh, limb. This is the expiratory limb, uh, and this is the fresh gas flow of uh, 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 four liter per minute or fourteen liter liter per minute. I'm sorry, and this is the, this distribution of the, uh, the the expiratory gas. Uh, in, 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 in A, B, and C uh, 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 figuring, you see. So uh, at A, uh, this the, is this the area where the, uh, the dead space gas is being passed. And then uh, after that, we we'll reach to the uh, area D at the, at the end of expiration, with, where we'll find all the, most of the expiration has been expelled. And this area is containing uh, the fresh gas flow uh, coming from the uh, auction source, source. So this 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 system uh, assures assures as long as this uh, tubing system is or the flow is uh, twice or, uh, or two and a, and, uh, and a half of that uh, tidal of the, of the patient will assure that the patient will not have what we call the rebreathing system. Otherwise, if this is not uh, assured, he will. Uh, take off the previous uh, expiration, which is called non-breathing. All these are the systems at CD uh, positioning of the expiration. All this shows that we must have double uh, or double and uh, more than double of the. Uh, 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 minute volume of the patient so that I can assure. So uh, uh, suppose we have a, a, a patient taking about uh, 0.4 liter of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, fresh gas flow and a rate of uh, 12, he, the, the, the complete respiratory cycle will be around, uh, of course, five seconds. It'll be shown this figure. I want you to remember the figure uh, uh, 8.5 liters, which is just under twice the tidal ventilation of the uh, patient, is required whenever whenever there is a, a no a expiratory pause. You see, the expiratory pause, the expiratory pause gives enough time for all the expiration to be expelled. If we don't have this this, that this pause and we have a less uh, required fresh gas flow, the patient will rebreathe, will rebreathe from the previous expiration. So this graph will be shown later on. Uh, later on. Uh, what is the proper uh, 
uh, uh, uh, minute volume giving uh, in, 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 in case if there is no uh, expiratory pause, you see? So this is the this is the proper this is the proper flow as we can see where no uh, rebreathing will will occur if there is no if there is no uh, expiratory pause. These are the figures from zero to five, which is uh, represent the respiratory cycle, and this is the periods between uh, the, the the figure the figure shown, which is the pause. So if we have pause, this will be capable. If you don't have pause, so this is the minimal. Uh, required to assure uh, that no non rebreathing uh, occurs. We can, of course, uh, administrate a, a bag at the end of this iris TBs to uh, aid in ventilation, and we can evaluate also the uh, pattern of of, uh, of respiration of the patient, whether he's he's, he's breathing or not. Uh, we can uh, administrate a, a valve on the end of, of this uh, system to uh, control uh, uh, ventilation of the patient. Of course, it's used in pediatric patient. Whenever it's used in adult, we need too much uh, uh, gas uh, flow. The, po the point that there is no, uh, there is a less, uh, less uh, uh, dead space, no expiratory uh, valve so that there is no uh, resistance. Uh, The, the, the most uh, drawback of it is we can uh, create pollution in the theater because there is much expelled uh, of gas. The uh, third system we are going to be discussing about is the coaxial T system. The, I'm sorry, we said for the, the open system and then the non rebreathing system. And then we have, I'm sorry, the coaxial now. I'm sorry, we had the uh, T piece. Now we have an coaxial. Coaxial means that the two tubes in, 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 in enter, enter, uh, 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 or, or, or they are in, inside each other, you see? As we can see from the figure, we have the inspiratory limb in one uh, line and the expiratory limb going through the expiratory uh, valve uh, on the other lines. Th th these two systems are correlated with each other, attached to is, each other so that they uh, are called coaxial. Uh, in, in, the, in the United States, uh, this system is called a uh, pain system and in, the, uh, in England, it's called a pen load, you see? Uh, we, we, to assure to assure a proper uh, non, or non non rebreathing, which is the the main uh, uh, item in any uh, anesthetic circuit, is to assure that the, the minute volume is is, uh, is two uh, and a half times that of the patient tidal ventilation. Of course, the problem is this: this if this uh, central tube is being detached, removed by a mistake, broken. Uh, nowadays, of course, it's, uh, it's much better uh, manufactured. Uh, if it is uh, broken, uh, we will have a, a large dead space and we have, we'll have a, a sort of hypoxemia and hypercarbon. Uh, this is the drawbacks of the uh, coaxial uh, uh, T system. Now we have the McGill system, which was introduced by uh, Sir uh, McGill uh, in 1920. Where, where the system is made of uh, fresh gas flow going through uh, uh, the system. And you can see, and then we have a bag, and then we have the uh, corrugated tube, and then we have the expiratory valve. What happens really uh, during spontaneous ventilation, the, begin, the patient, whenever he begins to expire, this, the, this of course, the, the uh, gases of the dead space, it, it begins to uh, go through this expiratory uh, uh, Limb. And then finally, finally, uh, this, this area will be uh, filled with the uh, alveolar gas, the, uh, the gas which uh, undergone gas exchange, which has too much uh, CO2. And at that time, at the pressure of this bag, this reservoir bag, there, there is a pressure in it. And the is cable, and the pressure of the patient cable to open the expiratory limb. Of course, the expiratory uh, valve here is uh, the, res the resistance is. Uh, very minimal, about uh, uh, 50 pascal is able to open so that the expiratory valve will uh, uh, release the alveolar gas. So whenever the patient re uh, rebreathes uh, again with the fresh gas flow, he will take the oxygen or he will take the gas which was present in the dead space. So no rebreathing occurs in, uh, during spontaneous ventilation. On the other hand, if the patient is uh, required to have an, a controlled ventilation and you tighten, tighten the expiratory limb, uh, 
the, the, the situation is completely changed. And so that no rebreathing can occur, we must increase the minute ventilation. The coaxial uh, McGill circuit, as you can see from this system, this is the McGill system. This is the McGill system with the remote valve. Suppose that we want we want to uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, uh, attach this uh, this uh, uh, this system to a patient who is infectious and we want to use a disposable. We can use this disposable system, but this. This valve, uh, 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 of course, is not disposable. Can be uh, reattached to the hidden brink. Uh, the brink uh, the valve can be attached to the uh, a clean new uh, system. And so this is called uh, remote. Remote away from the patient. Away from the patient. Why away from the patient? Suppose the patient, the surgeon is working nearby the face of the patient, and we don't want to disturb him. So. Uh, and we want to control the valve, so the valve, whenever it's outside the uh, the, the the field, it will uh, not Im impair the work of the surgeon. And this is the uh, coaxial uh, 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 McGill circuit, where the expiratory limb is in inwards, not uh, not like the one uh, before in the uh, coaxial T uh, system. Uh, uh, this 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 expiratory rim is being attached to expiratory valve to uh, release or spill spill the uh, expiratory gases. Of course, here the patient is is is, is, is inspiring through the two uh, openings. So you must have a wider uh, or the diameter so that the resistance will be minimized. So that we finished most of the circuits. Now we come to the last one, which is. As we see the closed circuit, as we saw the lime, and we had fresh gas flow and the inspiratory expiratory uh, uh, valves and limbs, and the Y uh, T's uh, and the special ventilator designed for this type of uh, circuits. Of course, uh, as we know, the, it, it could be a question why do we, uh, uh, how much is the size of the mesh, uh, of, 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 I'm sorry, the, of the uh, particles make, made made of of this uh, uh, soda line. We have a, a, a particles which has a proper large uh, enough not to uh, affect the resistance and small enough to increase the surface area. So we have to have a special size uh, enough to uh, to to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to function as both things we should say that before. This this can be uh, uh, measured by what we call four to six uh, mesh. This means that if I get a, if, if I get a strand, if I get a one inch uh, uh, suppose opening, and then I divide it into four, two or eight strands, uh, upwards, downwards. I'm sorry, uh, in, in a vertical and in transverse, making uh, squares. The squares is uh, is is uh, big enough, or it's an uh, optimum situation to just admi admi administrate the size of the particles. To assure that they are uh, good as regard uh, absorption and with minimum resistance. This is what we call that the typical size is uh, from four to six uh, mesh. Of course, the problem of uh, the, 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 the advantage of, of a closed circuit that you minimize the, the, the gas uh, flow, you minimize the consumption of the anesthetics, you, uh, you can utilize, of course, the humidity of the expiratory gas. All, all such things are beneficial, but the, the drawbacks that it's more expensive, uh, complicated, uh, made of uh, different components, sterilization is very difficult. This makes it, uh, uh, however, that it makes it a, a good a good, a good way uh, to use uh, as a system for anesthetizing patient. We have uh, also uh, uh, what we call the, uh, the vaporizer inside the circuit or outside the circuit. The, 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 the vaporizers nowadays, of course, we, we all use it's outside the circuit. The circuits means that the inspiratory, uh, the, 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 the vaporizer being administrated through the inspiratory or expiratory limb, that is the circuit. Outside the circuits, outside, as we can see, and uh, in, in the in, in respiratory used in, in, inside the circuit, you must have a, a, a low efficient vaporizer. 
and, uh, and it will accumulate, of course, the uh, water vapor of expiration, and uh, it, it, it needs a, a system to measure the oxygen concentration and the anesthetic uh, uh, concentration. You see? At the beginning of uh, of uh, using such a, such a system, we we must do what we call denitrogenation. We, we must remove all the nitrogen in the circuits by uh, by making a leak uh, for several uh, minutes, uh, so that we can control the concentration of uh, uh, nitrogen side. Of course, there are another classification which is called Maplison. We have uh, uh, Maplison A, U, D, U, C, E, U, F, L, A, L, A, as we said before, Maplison. D is the, pay, uh, the T piece. F uh, is, is the, 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 also the T system. And E is the T, T system uh, with the, uh, with the uh, modified, uh, unmodified uh, uh, T system, I'm sorry. So we have, uh, uh, of course, A and B, A, B and C are omitted because they, they, they are not beneficial whatsoever. This is a clarification. The, the Americans call it semi-open, semi-closed, and there is a conflict about this, uh, this uh, classification. Uh, now we come to the resistance of the breathing system. Of course, we must uh, assure a proper uh, a diameter to assure a laminar flow and overcome the resistance. Of course, with the, the, the standard is uh, 22 millimeter. And we must put in, the, in our mind during peak inspiratory flow, the, the resistance is much increased. So we must assure a proper type of valve which I can uh, overcome uh, this uh, resistance. As you can see, the resistance can reach 25 pascal uh, times uh, we, we divide it on one uh, on, on 100 to reach the centimeter water. Don't, this occurred during peak flow. This, this is why you must have uh, special types of uh, valves. Of course, increasing the diameter as we uh, as that we used in the scavenging system where we exhaust the expiratory valve. It must be uh, around 30 uh, millimeter to assure laminar flow also. Of course, uh, the, the problem of increasing in inspiratory flow uh, impairs or makes a load on the expiration of the patient. This is the drawbacks of uh, increasing the flow. The work uh, used during uh, in the breathing system, as we said before, the, the work is uh, in uh, regarding the respiratory uh, track is that at uh, the volume times uh, pressure. And we said uh, during uh, normal uh, ventilations around uh, 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 30 mil, uh, millijoule, 300, I'm sorry, millijoule. The, 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 the case is different whenever the patient is, uh, is uh, controlled. Uh, so uh, suppose, uh, suppose the, the work of uh, breathing uh, calculated during the work, during uh, ventilated patients around 200 pascal and uh, tidal volume is around uh, 0.4 uh, liter. Whenever I shifted this, of course, to kilo pascal and, uh, and, and uh, a, pro a proper uh, volume, we can reach that the work is around uh, 80 uh, millijoule, which is a, a load on the patient. We must put in our, uh, our mind this. This work, of course, can be uh, calculated through this uh, uh, figure of inspiration or expiration regarding the different types of uh, of circuits used. So of course, this is the the pressure yield, and this is the volume which is constant. We apply all this volume, and then we cal we uh, calculate calculates the pressure uh, on his upper airway, and we'll find during expiration it will create a, a loop. This area of the loop can uh, be used to calculate the work of breathing during. Uh, using different types of circuits. This is the norm, as we said before, the normal uh, uh, respiratory work during, uh, during normal breathing. And during using the circuits, uh, around 27% increase in the work of breathing. So must, all this must be put in consideration 
uh, during uh, utilizing a controlled ventilation such system. Safety of the system, of course, to assure a, a proper uh, the assembly, the system might be um, uh, comparative with each other, matching each other. Uh, the connection, the, the screw collar, the screw collar that is being administered through the walls of the uh, of the, uh, the exit of the different uh, uh, gases with auction, you have to have a proper screw collar so that there will be uh, no mixing. Uh, of course, the female and the male plastic uh, container must be adapted to each other. The problem of, uh, of, of sterilization might, might affect the uh, property of this uh, connection, whether it's metal or, uh, or uh, the plastic. And we have a, a, a taper gauge that measures such uh, diameters to, uh, to assure that the, the sides are not much uh, 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 affected. This is a nice thing is about the uh, the reservoir bag. What's the what's the meaning of reservoir? Which is a reservoir to be capable to uh, uh, to uh, support the patient whenever he, he needs a peak inspiratory flow. Which, as we said before, it may reach about fifty liter per minute. See, sometimes. So we must assure this by uh, the different system we saw, we said uh, before. Uh, as we know from the Laplace law that the pressure in a sphere in a, in a bag uh, equals double uh, T uh, over A uh, over R. You see, because the, of course uh, we we have whenever we have a sphere we have a uh, double curvature. So this is the the principle of Laplace uh, law as regard uh, a bag. The point is this this uh, 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 reservoir bag must be of a, a proper uh, rubber. Which can uh, 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 can be utilized to uh, to not much increase the pressure. So suppose that uh, the, 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 the 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 diameter that the diameter is, is is increased. So we must have attention to increase to keep the pressure. You see, the bag is being fully fully dilated, yet the pressure is constant because the elasticity of the bag keeps the uh, relation between the tissue and the the, the tension and the uh, radius constant. Uh, so that the pressure be kept uh, constant. You see, sometimes uh, the bags are not well uh, uh, coupled with such a low and the pressure in the circuit will be much uh, increased. The ventilator is, uh, of course, it's, uh, it's beyond the scope of this book, but this is a figure of how that uh, manly uh, uh, palm vent works. You have a, a simply a fresh gas flow of seven liter going through a pillows. This pillows, of course, is supported by uh, springs to create a, a pressure. After the the preset volume is being uh, reached and the pillows is being uh, uh, filled with uh, with a certain amount, uh, the releasing valve opens and the lever system opens to release this to the patient. You see, of course, they have to have a. a an alarm system to maintain this uh, pressure. There are two types of sensors of pressure, uh, which which guarantee that the pressure is not much increase in circuit circuit. Otherwise, the components will be affected by this uh, pressure. The, of course, this system is not uh, you can you can cannot consider to use the constant volume ventilator or a constant pressure ventilator. Uh, and of course, I'm not going to discuss about the difference, but. Uh, this system uh, is, is, is is difficult to uh, uh, to 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 be uh, classified as regard, regarding this uh, manual palm event. Of course, if I want to use it as a, a manual uh, a device, of course I I, I change this, this, the the rules of this system, and then uh, I find that the end result the circuit uh, uh, as if it is a T system a T P system uh, working whenever this. Uh, palm event is being shut off uh, to be uh, given as a manual uh, device for the patient. Scavenging means that you're getting rid of all the waste uh, waste uh, products of the anesthetics. Now, uh, in the old days, they used to uh, claim, claim it uh, uh, causing uh, abortion in, the, uh, in, in personnel working in the Satan now, nowadays it's not uh, proved, approved, I'm sorry. Uh, now we have the scavenging, how to get rid of this 
uh, is by active or uh, or passive. I'm going to give you some figures of the, the, the passive. This is the passive way uh, in which you have a suction, as we see from above, that and the mask is being applied on the expiratory valve to uh, to suck the patient, to suck the ex exhaust uh, to the to the outwards, to the out outwards of the of the theater. You see, this is a through, through the expiratory valve, and this is all through the open system. We call it also open system, uh, Scandinavian uh, system. And this is another way, uh, way, uh, another uh, method where uh, we have uh, a, a container, a container reservoir that collects the, and there are, we have a, a tubing system, as we said before, it's our uh, 30 millimeter. And then we have an air pump to exhaust uh, this outside the, uh, the theater. Of course, the problem is uh, uh, this exhaust is, made, is, is always made uh, in the uh, uh, upper part of the of the of the room, uh, and the anesthetics are uh, high dense, uh, and this the, the density may uh, make a back pressure to the patient. So we must have some sort of grill at the exit to remove this uh, exhaust. The second thing is the the winds around the the, the in the in, in nearby the building where the uh, exhaust will be uh, released will affect. And will create a bad pressure on the patient, so it 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 will uh, it may affect. You see, all these are the systems. How that goes to a, a flow control, and then we have a reservoir, and there is a suction. All these are systems, whether uh, passive or. Uh, and this is another way we we use injector uh, to make it uh, uh, active. Not if you don't have injector, it will be passive. All these and these are valves to control the pressure and to not, not uh, uh, to, to not for the pressure not, not to be uh, increased much on the patient because the patient it will exhaust the patient. The theater ventilation is very important. I must ventilate the patient the, the theater fifteen times, as we can see from this figure uh, per hour, to uh, assure that all the exhausts are being. Uh, released. Uh, so, uh, as a summary, the most important thing is to know that the anesthetic system are made of uh, either a, a sim a simple, which which is a simple one. Uh, it, 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 it it has a less uh, less resistance, and then after that we have the non rebreathing uh, either the uh, uh, AMBO E or the AMBO E two, uh, which is used for uh, an emergency, and then we have the uh, TPs, and then we have the coaxial TPs, and then we have the McGill system, system, and then we have the coaxial McGill system. This are the system I must utilize. So, at finally, of course, the closed system uh, where we uh, uh, we are accustomed to it. Uh, to it. Uh, I hope that I uh, I did I did um, a good job. I hope so. I'm going to improve myself. Uh, uh, by time, uh, 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 additional figures and and so forth are being uh, seen in my 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 other way of explanation. I used to to use uh, the PowerPoint where they, uh, they 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 where I can supple uh, supplement with more figures. So I hope that you can uh, find this in my uh, site in the uh, YouTube to see uh, more uh, figures. Uh, thank for you for you all uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh